Hello everybody, welcome back for some more New World goodness this week on the Box and Doxin YouTube channel. Um, first of all, thank you everybody for the awesome support I have been getting. You guys rock. If you guys want to support me and you have not yet, hit that thumbs up button, hit the subscribe button, because that means the world to me and it helps me out so much more than you guys think. Also, if you guys want to come to chat with me over live on Twitch, I do have a Twitch channel. Links are all down in the description below. So without further ado, let's get to it. So, New Gameplay, again, this week, this last couple weeks have been crazy with new gameplay, and this is the one I've been waiting for, I think, because it's actually showing open world PvE gameplay. So, let's get further, uh, uh yeah, let's get into it. <clears throat> Without further ado, um, I might cut a bit, I'm trying to keep these videos about 10 minutes, maybe a little bit longer, and this is 11, an 11 minute gameplay. So, without further ado, let's jump in. So, this is open world PvE late game, I was there, level 60, you can see in the bottom left corner there. Those look like Dryad Fighters. Yeah, Dryad Fighters. Oh! Oh, Flamethrower. Yes. Yes. That looks sick. Okay. Sorry, that one... Ooh, some Hatchet play. I like, I like to see Hatchet play. See, I like PvP, but I am a PvE player. And th this just looks like it's going to be fantastic for PvE. The, 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 um, enemies look like they actually, yeah, they, 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 they realize space and time, like, well, time, yeah, so they're moving away from you to get distance away from you to protect themselves and stuff like that. It looks like a little bit of a poison spell these dryads do, and this is, I'm guessing these are the angry earth faction that they're facing here. <clears throat> yeah, and, like, they'll move away from you to get more distance to shoot you. Which is really cool. They're more, they're more, they're smarter AI than like your normal M MMO, which is really cool. This, the, you know what, my, to be honest with you, my hype for this game was dying a little bit, but now seeing this, this is bring, this is definitely bringing me. I'm getting excited. Again, this is beta or alpha footage. Alpha. It should be beta by now. This should be pretty close to what beta is going to be. And beta comes out this month, everybody. So the 23rd, I believe, beta will drop. So get your pre-orders in. What is that? An ancient urn. So a chest out in the world. I'm guessing it's going to have, like, crafting supplies. Sand flux. All right. Oh, where are we now? We're in a wintry, wintry area, and that looks like corrupted people. Gathering, yeah. I could do without the, the woman sound effect. <coughs> Sorry. That could get, I could see that getting annoying. <laughs> so, they're, they're a higher level, level, obviously. And these are only level 40s. Oh, wow. Like. Yeah, you really do gotta kind of be... Pro oh, there's a, some pistol play. Hopefully, th we can, the players can get that. That's a, that's a weapon that was been missing in a lot of uh, other gameplay, is that pistol. So far, he's only got a bow and the uh, the hammer. The the interface is really good. It's not clunky. It's it's very like minimum, and I like that minimum play. I hate seeing um, wild players with all this all the mods and stuff like that. It confuses the hell out of me. I'm a I'm a simple man, people. I'm a simple goddamn man. Okay, inventory system. Simple, I like it. Take, take a little drink. You gotta drink it up. I could I could see a lower level player really getting trouble in trouble right here, but I mean these everyone probably in the alpha is about probably max level. If not very close to it. So this is like mid level gameplay play then, like these uh, level thirty nines and forties. Now this definitely looks like a corrupted fort. I, I'm liking the snow aspect. I always, I've always liked the snow aspect of like of uh, zones. Just oh, some more supply. Another supply crate. So cool. There was an urn. Now there's a supply crate. That, that, that's definitely kind of what they're showing off right here. In this in this gameplay, 
Restless Shore Hamlet. Oh, is this the first look at a city for me? I mean, I've seen, like, photos of it, but it's like the first gameplay I've seen of it. Yeah, workshop. So I'm guessing this is, like, a, a, a city. Or a, a settlement. What, they, what they're calling them. Star metal. Crafting a bow. Ironwood bow. Interesting. Infused silk sage robe. I'm looking. I'm looking over sage shoes. All the stuff you can make in this. Gloves. Huh. The, cra the crafting system is a huge part in this game. You can just tell. Ooh, I like his staff. That's a new one I haven't seen before. Maybe is that a healing staff? It looks like. Probably is. So we, we haven't seen too much of diversity in the magic way, which I does, oh, emotes, that, which does um make me hesitant. I would like to see a, a more diverse thing in magic than, other than just fire and heal. I, I, I thought I read something a little bit ago that was uh, said void. Void is a possible magic. I'm not sure what that entails. I'm just guessing dark energy. Probably like more like corrupt, corrupted magic which would be I would, I would be fine if players could use corrupted magic that'd be a cool thought of aspect of it this looks like a, a purely uh magic user it looks like gandalf gandalf the gray i like the ship like i like the that the settlers use ships Ooh, this must be a marauder held yeah marauder that's right green was marauder oh yeah like the little jukes i like that you know what that might, that, oh, that's it. I'm Marauder. I'm just kidding. I don't know. Marauder or Covenant, I think. Ooh. That's a beautiful... That's a beautiful area. So, as, like, in developer interviews said, corrupt, the corruption can make things more beautiful or it can make things absolutely, you know, corrupted and more powerful. This definitely looks like a dryad area. Yeah, dryads. Bronze root, bronze root shaman. So yeah, but I, this I, this this looks like a beautiful area. Like I'm, I'm hoping like it's more than just this tree, and the rest of the area kind of has this glow to it because that romantic area. Gorgeous. It seems like who's that? Anointed something. Yeah. Again, I'm not. I'm not. Ooh, more chests. Ghouls. Okay, so this is like an, an undead area. Holy. Crud, that's a cool move. Dang. See, I, th that's what I'm saying about these, like, these AI look seem like they have a, a better mind of their own. So it's not just fighting it's hack slash, hack slash, it's hack slash, dodge, move. And that, that that's something I really think this game has that's gonna... Bring it over the top. Here's the thing. And this is not going to be a WoW killer. Everyone keeps saying this is going to... Oh, this is going to be... Wow. No, it's a completely different thing. <clears throat> We've been saying there's been going to be a WoW killer for years. Warhammer Age of Reckoning, which was my guess that would have killed uh, World of Warcraft. But no. This this looks like something that can compete in, in its own field. Supply another uh, supply stockpile. So yeah, they're throwing, they're showing these off quite a bit. I'm liking these stockpile things, and I'm guessing these are gonna be a lot have a lot to do with your uh, crafting stuff. I'm sorry if you guys can hear fireworks. Wolfie, don't shoot the puppy! Don't shoot the puppy! Shot the puppy. Doom, Droom Droom goal. I'm, I'm loving that hatchet play, man. Whoa! He, that, 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 like, that retreat shot is really cool. That's definitely something I'm going to be looking into. I, 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 at first, I thought there was going to be a very, very lackluster dynamic of enemies. Now that they're showing this, and this is... I mean, we saw these guys these guys in a, uh, a photo before, but it's looking a lot better, the dynamic. I mean, between the, the, the cryptic ghouls, the um, dryads, 
the uh, corrupted. There's definitely a lot more diversity than I, than I thought would be here. This uh, uh, this game just looks so freaking beautiful for an MMO, guys. I can say it once, I'll say it again. And we've already seen that you can get stuff to help you fight certain certain things like ghouls, spirits, the covenant. Or, I mean, um, the corrupted duck covenant. I, I keep mixing that up. Sorry about that. Where are we now? Pastor Walsh? Oh my goodness. That's a new one I haven't seen. So I wonder if he's he's a... a, a, a like in a while where you have your, your elite or your world bosses. I wonder if that's what that is. That looks awesome. So yeah, that looked amazing. I don't know about you guys, but this is getting me super freaking hyped. And I can't wait. Um, we only From today, we have... 20... Two days? 23 days? 20, uh, 20 days from beta release. And I, you know I will be there. Um, but yeah, this gameplay looks freaking sick. I, what do you guys think? The flamethrower impressed me. The amount of attacks that your enemies get impressed me. And I don't know. I mean, let me know. Co comment down below. I want to talk with you guys. Come meet me over on Twitch. So give this a like. Give this the word out there. Come over follow me on Twitch. Subscribe to this channel. We have a lot more to explore in this game. That's for sure. Until next time, guys. I got no more to say. Other than keep fighting. Until next time. Bye!